Welcome back once again to how to cook great food. Chicken kebab. We're gonna make some fantastic chicken kebabs that we're gonna cook indoors on the, on the cooker, no need for a barbecue. So they're really delicious, very simple. Let's go and take a look at the ingredients that we need. Okay, let's jump in and take a look at this. Very, very simple. And before I get started, all of the amounts of the ingredients are gonna be in the text below for you to look at. So we've got some chicken breast here cut into nice cubes, no skin, no bone. If you want, you could use chicken thigh. I'm using breast. We've got lemon juice and olive oil, equal parts, salt and pepper. And then we've got equal parts here of chili powder, turmeric and cumin, chopped garlic. That's about it. Now look, I'm using these things. I'm using bamboo sticks. If you're going to use bamboo or wooden sticks, what you need to do is get them soaked in water for at least a couple of hours. Otherwise they're just going to set fire you know very very easily i mean we're going to do these on the stove top but yeah they can still set fire if you're using metal of course nothing to do with you is it so that's it let's get moving so absolutely nothing to it mixing bowl got our chicken in there we're going to add our salt and our pepper we're going to add our garlic chopped garlic we're going to add our spices that's turmeric chili and cumin and then we're going to add our olive oil and equal parts of lemon juice. I'm going to give that a mix. Now what you want to do is get some shrink wrap on this plastic wrap. Minimum two hours in the fridge. Overnight, you're a star. Yeah, overnight it'll be great. But minimum two hours really. I'll see you then. So while our chicken is doing its thing, Check this out. I'm just going to add these vegetables to the skewers as well. So I've got some zucchini, courgette or kusa, whatever you call that. I've got some eggplant or aubergine or brinjal, or again, whatever you call that, bell peppers and onion. You could be putting on like mushrooms and things like that if you wanted or tomato. I'm just going to go with these four. So marinated chicken is done. Bamboo sticks or wooden sticks have been soaked. You saw the vegetables. Simply what we're going to do is get some chicken on, vegetable chicken, da 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 da. The order that you do it in makes no difference whatsoever. Let me do that. So there you go. So I've got one, two, three, four very hefty ones. Now, the order, like I say, that you put stuff in makes no difference what's, whatsoever. But what I do like to do is not put chicken at the end. So I always put a vegetable at the bottom and at the top. Now listen, we've got a little bit of this stuff left over, the marination. What we're gonna do, as soon as they go on, we're gonna put this marination onto the vegetables, just brush it over, just to kind of give it a little bit of extra love. Right, now we're gonna do this on, on, on the gas stove or electric stove, on the stove top basically. Um, of course you can put these on charcoal, they'd be fantastic, wouldn't they? But we're gonna go with the cooker on a, on a flat skillet. They're gonna be absolutely wonderful. Okay, so I'm at my cooker. As you may know, I've got a gas cooker and I've got this flat plate. You can do this on, on, on anything really. If you've got a big frying pan, it will work the same. I just like to use this. So I've got the heat on. We're gonna drop these on. Then I'm just gonna grab that other little bit of marination that we had. I just wanna get this on now. I put it on now, don't. Put it on once the chicken's cooked because you're now putting raw chicken marination onto cooked chicken. Don't do that. That is not good. So get it on nice and early. And then we're going to cook these for about six minutes or so. I'll be flipping them around quite often. And then after that, they'll be done. But then there's just one more little technique that I like to do just to give them a little bit more love. So I'm gonna flip these around, like I say, fairly often, and we're done. Okay, so off goes the heat. They're done, they're absolutely beautiful. Really loving those. Now what I'm gonna do is just show you one more thing. If you've got a gas cooker, what we're gonna do is get rid of this plate and then get the naked flame and just give them a little bit of crisping on a naked flame. Obviously it only works if you've got a gas cooker. Let's do that. So I've got my heat on. 
and we're just gonna do this for a few seconds you know that sort of 30 seconds on each kebab just gives them that little bit of extra kind of fake cooked on the charcoal kind of effect that's it these are ready to serve I see you at the table Okay, so there you go. Don't they look absolutely fabulous? I've served them on some pita bread or kubus, whatever you call that. A little bit of tomato, olive, cucumber, parsley, some slices of lime. Wonderful stuff. Really easy to do. You can do it at home, of course, and they're delicious. Hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please leave us a message and say hello. We do like to hear from you. Thumbs up's always great for us. And that's it. Take care. Lots of love.